our objective is to pass tax reform by the August recess. And I think that's a very aggressive timetable, but realistic and something that the President and I are very committed to doing. So by August, voted, done, agreed. And signed. Wow. All right, that was Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin telling our very own Neil Cavuto tax reform is happening, it's on the way, and he expects it by August. So what do you know? It moved the markets, now hitting a new all-time high, not to mention we broke the 21,000 mark. Here with more, our very own Liz Clayman, who's down there on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, and I believe we have Steve Cortez back with us as well. Uh, Steve, uh, you're both a finance guy and a political guy. You were an advisor to Trump on his Hispanic Advisory Committee, but your entire career has been in the financial sector. As you hear what Steve Mnuchin told Arneel Cavuto, as you couple that with what you heard there in Washington, D.C. last night, right. what is it causing you to do as an investor? Well, you know, first it causes me to say, uh, boom goes the dynamite. Uh, you know, as an investor, can we ask Donald Trump to please give one of these addresses just about every month if this is going to be the reaction uh, from the stock market? No, but in, in all seriousness, what's happening is the American economy, I believe, has been like a sprinter that's been forced to wear a weighted vest, trying to run with that. And that vest is regulation and taxes. Now that we're removing that vest, this sprinter is going to take off. And that's not just my opinion, it's the stock market's prediction. Uh, and people are putting real money on the line, on the sp prospects of accelerated growth that lies ahead in a world of <coughs> sensible regulation and lower and simpler taxation. Hey, listen, I was uh, talking to a Democrat earlier in the show. You were, you were there. We're, he he right. even admitted, yeah, I put money to work in the stock market. In other words, the trains left the station. The economy is hopefully off to some very good things. That right. said, Liz Clayman, she's joining us as well right there from the floor. Liz, um, it's, got, it's got to come through, though, right? I mean, now, now Steve Mnuchin is on record saying August. Everybody's super excited about that. Um, but, you know, what if it doesn't happen? Well, dare I say uh, that could be a real problem. You, you know, you said it's on the record. He had said August, but with Neil Cavuto, he specifically said it will be passed and it will be signed by August. So yep. boom, that was the moment. We're about 11 points off the all-time high for the Dow Jones Industrials. High the session of 349. We're up 339 right now. Make that 340. We're climbing. Um, I'm going to be watching all of that in the final hour and. How much participation is in this? You're right, Trish. Any disappointment, because, you know, we've had some pretty significant run-ups here across the board for the transports, the NASDAQ, the S&P, the Russell. These are all hitting all-time highs right now. Uh, any disappointment could cause, and it would be normal and natural, a correction. It's just that everyone's hoping for that tax reform plan and an infrastructure bill and Obamacare. And it is very ambitious. We applaud the president for coming out with that type of stuff. But a, a disappointment could spark what you've just I, you talked know, about. But, you know, look, let, let's, let's bask in the glory here for a moment because <laughs> this, is, this doesn't happen every day. 340 right. points. We are now upwards of 21,000. i got to say, Steve, that, that may actually go down in the history books for being the fastest increase. It's about 24 sessions to move by 1,000 points. And I get it gets right. a little easier, right, the higher you, you, you go because the percentages are smaller. But, but psychologically, there's something important that's happening here, not just for the markets, but for the American people. And if we want the fundamentals in the American economy to change, don't we need that psychological boost? Absolutely. And, you know, I'm so glad you mentioned that, Trish, you know, because this president is, is making no small plans. And Liz is right. He's, he's promising a lot. He's going to deliver. But I'm glad you mentioned the psyche of the American people. I think for too long, over the last decade or so, we've become almost comfortable with mediocrity when it comes to our economy. But we are better than that. And I think he's appealing to that nature. And you're so right. The economy largely is about confidence. If you believe, you will hire, you will invest, you will spend. And so the belief can become contagious in and of itself. So the policies are important, but so yeah. too is the optimism are the intangibles. Indeed. And hey, the president is mastering Look, that. we did not become the world's largest economy by being okay with mediocrity. Absolutely not. It's about time we start to get optimistic and demand more from ourselves and everyone else, including our lawmakers in Washington. Liz and Steve, good to see you. Liz, we're going to be watching right through the close of trading yep. to see this big record day. She'll be there on the floor. All right, the